if you've got a golfer in your life, you know how mediocre those golf shirts can be. Lots mm -hmm. of solids, pastels, but a Minnesota <laughs> golf brand has been working to change that over the last few years, and they're doing it in quite a loud way. That's right. So two years ago, reporter Kelly Hansen shared Waggle Golf's story, and since then, this company has had some major, major growth. So Kelly reintroduces us today with a good company update. This one's going to go in. This is like 18th hole to win the match. You guys stand out on the golf course. That's the idea. Oh. We try to create something that's unique and different um, and fun. Waggle, though, I need to know why, why waggle. Is that, I'm like, is it swag? Is it like? We do have some people say swaggle, uh, <laughs> so you could associate it to that. Uh, waggle is technically like a golf term, so when you approach a tee shot, a lot of people have like a little sway or something that they'll do before they hit, and a lot of times it's kind of unique to them. It's their own unique like thing to kind of get them prepared to hit the shot. And so for us, that's kind of saying, you know, have your own unique style, wear what you want on the golf course, everybody's a little bit different, and so that's kind of where the term waggle comes in. We're at your warehouse in Roseville, Jacob, and this is where you guys have all of your designs. Mm -hmm. There are so many. What was the first one? So the first two that came out uh, four years ago were these two right here. Um, I do not know the name of this one, but this is the Parrot Bay. Um, and we do have plans to kind of re-release some of the older stuff in the future, kind of okay. as like a, as a waggle vault to kind of bring newer customers into what we've done in the past. Golf kind of has this culture or history about it that's kind of like um, elitist, maybe a little like stuck up, um, maybe kind of like that private club experience where you have to wear a certain thing on the golf course all the time. You know, it's a little cliche, but like we want to grow the game, we want to be part of that, and I think, you know, making golf seem more accessible through like fun apparel um, and things like that brings, you know, in a different generation of golfers that maybe would have shied away from it given the, the country club kind of mentality. Like I'm looking at this. If you're a hunter, yep. maybe you want bucks on your golf shirt. <laughs> That's a buck, right? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are so many different patterns you have on the rooster. Yep. What's this one called? So that is the cocky rooster. Um, it. it is actually, we came out with it about three and a half years ago and is still one of our best sellers. That brings in Minnesota, what you're wearing there. Yeah, we, we try to create unique things that will really connect with people. It's kind of like that Hawaiian shirt print meets a golf polo. That's the idea, right? I really had the idea one summer when I was kind of sitting around at a barbecue with a bunch of friends and everybody was wearing these these fun printed button-down shirts. Travis is, loves going to Jimmy Buffett concerts, so he's going to wear something loud and tropical and, and something fun like that. Look at these lightning bolts. I mean, when you're on the golf course wearing these, people are like, where did you find that golf shirt? And I just thought to myself, like, this is great. I've complimented so many people on their shirt. I, I like that design. I like this print. I said, why isn't that being done in, in in the golf world. That was really what kind of spawned the idea and it just started with a few designs and it's just snowballed from there. You've got Minnesota icons. You've got the cherry and the spoon, you betcha, some oars, lift bridge, the loon, an ode to the state fair. Yep, and uh, the Juicy Lucy. The Juicy Lucy's on here? Potato Todd hot dish. Oh my gosh, this is fun. It was a side hustle for many years. I still worked a full-time job up until just a year and a couple months ago. Um, so it's pretty cool to see where it is now and to actually like kind of see the dream realized. All right, Kelly, these guys are absolutely crushing yeah. it. I yeah. see this, I see their stuff everywhere. My kids have a couple of their hats. It's it's popular. But, yeah. I mean, the kids are loving the hats, but they just have these wild, fun patterns, and I think people are drawn to that. Why be boring when you can be fun? What's right? the update, Kelly? They've okay. got big news. The update is something very cool. They just opened a Waggle Golf Store in March, so just a few weeks ago, at the shops at Arbor Lakes and Maple Grove. They have a grand opening this Saturday, the 6th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You're gonna be able to see all of their new gear. They've got a new Lake Life collection. We've got some of the shirts here, but they are really great quality, but they're fun. Yeah, yeah they are fun. Our photographer Seth has a flamingo <laughs> shirt that I think he's maybe worn out a little bit. I'm like, I'm gonna have to get you a new, but he loves it, right? Like once you find something you love and people are really drawn to this brand and they've got really fun hats. Um, I love the fish here where my husband was like what's that oh that's it's funny very, very fun i like the buck on these uh, on this shirt over there and i think it's funny it's got like the he's wearing he's the wearing sunglasses. sunglasses but from a distance 
it just kind of looks like a cool yeah. pattern. Like you can't You're really right. totally tell. So it's it's nice because some of yeah. them can be it's, subtle. It's too. interesting, and I think it is subtle. And don't forget that that buck also has a mustache. I know it's really <laughs> yeah. Can yeah, you he's, see that? he's got it's shades like on and a mustache. Egg, right? So yeah. how are they doing with employees? Okay, too? because this so is a big deal. When these companies grow, they're adding jobs. Right. When I did the story with them a couple of years ago, it was just like a handful of people. Now they have 16 employees. Their warehouse space that I checked out in the story is now double that. They took over the next spot uh, next door. So I just, it's just fun to be able to do these updates because people, things change, right? And yeah. they grow and they get bigger and they do well. They also have a storefront in Dallas as well. Oh, so hmm. that opened in October. Awesome. Yeah. So Good job, guys. Keep it up. Around. All right. Thank you, Keep Kelly. Keep it so welcome. Okay.